at 5 starts now. Welcome to News Watch 12 at 5. I'm Nate Myhock. We'll get to those stories in a minute, but first, we are expecting some major snowfall tonight, and we're going to check in with our chief meteorologist, Jeff Weller. Jeff, what time can we expect to see some snow and how hey, much? Yeah, hey Nate, hey, uh, we have lots of snowfall on the way, arriving about 9, 10 o'clock tonight into tomorrow. All is quiet right now in the ER, but this will be ground zero for the heaviest snow is gonna fall tonight and tomorrow, uh, likely upwards of six inches or more in Eagle River. Uh, these are the advisories, a winter weather advisory for most of us in blue for snow arriving tonight into tomorrow morning. If you are in the pink, or red area, that's a winter storm warning for an excess of six or more inches of snow because we'll get some lake enhanced snow off Lake Superior that will add to the snow totals there. Now included in that is Vilas County, where some areas could see upwards of 10 inches of snow by about this time tomorrow night. The general map looks like this, so a widespread four to six inch snowfall, and this could be underdoing it just a little bit. The further north you go, the more snow you get, likely starting about 9, 10 o'clock this evening. All right, here we are outside now lots of cloud cover and there's trying to get a couple of flurries going as we speak the bulk of the heavier snow that will hold off until about nine o'clock or so the energy is still way over here uh, but it is moving this way and it's moving very slowly so this is a long duration event tonight tomorrow into tomorrow afternoon our forecast then tonight though is clouding over some flurries out there light snow late with low temperatures down near 17 your full forecast is coming up Nate. Thank you, Jeff. For the first time, we are now seeing more than 400,000 new COVID-19 cases per day. However, knowing when you are infected can be confusing, especially when you factor in colds, the flu, or even allergies. Mandy Gaither explains how you can tell the difference. COVID-19 cases at an all-time high. <sighs> Colliding with cold and flu season. If you're sick, several symptoms seem the same. So think about your exposure risk. If you may have been exposed to somebody with COVID-19, it increases the probability that it's COVID-19. If infected with the coronavirus, your symptoms may include fever or chills, cough, body aches, headaches, tiredness, shortness of breath, and loss of taste or smell. The CDC says having a sore throat, sneezing, itchy or watery eyes, and having a runny or stuffy nose are less common with COVID-19. Even though with Omicron, it's less likely that you're gonna lose your sense of smell or your sense of taste, those are really specific for COVID-19. And the second that seems to be a bit more common with Omicron given the data uh, is a headache. <coughs> Someone with the flu may experience all these ailments, but the loss of taste or smell is more frequent with COVID-19. When it comes to colds, fever or chills are not common, but you may have a cough, body aches, tiredness, be sneezing, or have a runny or stuffy nose. Once you start feeling those symptoms, even if it, if it is a cold or flu, given the goal of, of flattening the curve, it, it's worth isolating yourself and, and getting a couple of tests. After a potential exposure to COVID-19, wait to test once you're getting symptoms, then test one day and again the next to be sure. For Health Minute, I'm Mandy Gaither. And with COVID cases rising across the country, the Omicron variant is now the overwhelming cause of those infections. According to estimates from the CDC, they believe the Omicron variant has caused over 95% of new COVID cases last week. Just four weeks ago, it accounted for just 8% of cases. However, the CDC does note that not every COVID test is sent out to be tested and have the variant identified. The CDC also updated its guidelines for Pfizer boosters, which shortens the time between shots from six months down to five. And that means people who received a Pfizer vaccine can get their booster one month earlier. The CDC is also updating guidance for immunocompromised children. The agency now says that kids aged five to 11 can get a third dose of the Pfizer vaccine just 28 days after their second shot. CDC Director Rochelle Walensky released a statement urging people who are eligible to get themselves or their children vaccinated as soon as possible. Texas Governor Greg Abbott sent a letter announcing his intention to sue the federal government. The lawsuit stems from an unconstitutional vaccine mandate for the state's National Guard. 
The letter comes after the Biden administration tried to subject non-federalized guardsmen to a COVID-19 vaccine mandate. Abbott said, quote, it is the federal government that has put Texas's guardsmen in this difficult position. As your commander in chief, I will fight on your behalf. And that is why I am suing the Biden administration over its latest unconstitutional vaccine mandate, end quote. President Biden delivered remarks from the White House today before the start of the daily COVID briefing. Biden reiterated his call for everyone to get vaccinated and also acquire the highest level of protection against COVID. He also said a new website is coming soon where people can order at home tests for free. Biden also talked about the new treatment pill from Pfizer that is beginning to be shipped out. For those at high risk who do get COVID-19, we now have a new Pfizer pill that greatly reduces the risk of hospitalization and death. I'm pleased to say that on Christmas Eve, we shipped out the first batch of these pills that we received, we purchased and received, and more will be shipped this week. Biden would also go on to say that his administration has given billions of dollars to the states in order to keep schools open. He also encouraged the states and school districts to use the funds that they still have to keep kids safe and keep schools open. Tonight on NBC Nightly News with Lester Holt, they'll continue their coverage of the deadly January 6th riot that occurred about one year ago. One of the more prominent rioters is Jenna Ryan. She is a Texas realtor whose social media posts played a hand in convicting her. Ryan claims that she was never violent, but she did plead guilty to a misdemeanor. Before heading to prison, Ryan spoke with NBC's Kate Snow about whether she regrets her actions. You wrote on Twitter the next day, we just stormed the Capitol. It was one of the best days of my life. You know what? I feel like walking into the Capitol for two minutes and eight seconds was a big mistake. And I pled guilty to that, and I have remorse for that. On Nightly News, we'll hear why Ryan is proud of herself and what a legal expert thinks about her sentence. The Oneida County landfill is seeing an impact from the holidays. And now that Christmas has passed, the solid waste director says there's been more cardboard coming into the landfill, especially since the landfill was closed the past two Saturdays. That's due to Christmas and New Year's Day. We get a little uptick in business with people getting rid of stuff. Um, haulers are busy. Um, primarily, we see the most dramatic increase in cardboard. Um, people ordering stuff online. When the pandemic started, the landfill had to shut down its sorting line. And now everything but cardboard and paper is shipped down to a facility in Madison to be sorted. We had to look at other ways and, and options for getting the recycling processed, and we came up with this, and it's, we've kind of worked through it, and um, yeah, it's been going very well. The landfill is open Monday through Saturday. With more snow and cold on the way, furnaces across the Northwoods will be burning bright. Newswatch 12's Cooper Henkel has more on the danger of winter burns and how to avoid them. It happens in an instant. We see a lot of it, and it's definitely a seasonal, a seasonal problem. Whether you've got an old-fashioned wood burner or a faux fireplace, safety considerations go well beyond not burning your house down. The heat produced can linger, especially on glass surfaces, which are hot enough to cause serious burns even hours after the fire's gone out. So we can see anything from a superficial partial thickness burn uh, w that we call a second degree burn that blisters to a full thickness burn, which would require surgery in some instances. It's especially important to keep an eye on little ones. Dr. Gibson says early walkers are the biggest concern as they're prone to sudden bursts of movement and have limited coordination. Kids and elderly have much thinner skin than we do when we're in our middle age. And uh, so it takes a much shorter time to get a deeper burn. Dr. Gibson says the burns she sees come more from hot objects than open flames. She recommends putting up a gate or other barrier and keeping everyone away from the fireplace. And just trying to keep a close eye on your kids that, you know, they there's all sorts of things, candles, hot uh, soups, things like that, that they can get into during this winter season. And it just takes an instant and it can be a life changing event. For Newswatch 12, I'm Cooper Ankle. Here in Wisconsin, and especially the Northwoods, we deal with snow and a lot of it. But people in the south 
don't see as much snow as we do, if any. Some people in Virginia have been stuck on the highway for hours due to the winter storm. We'll share their story, but that's after Maine weather with Jeff right here on Newswatch 12. This portion of News Watch 12 is brought to you by Furniture and Appliance Mart. Start the new year off right with Menards Bag Sale. Pick up a bag in store and get 15% off everything you can fit in the bag now through January 15th. Whether you pack it, load it, stuff it, or stack it. From light bulbs to tools, snacks, and much more, fit it in the bag and save 15%. So pick up a bag in store and find out how much you fit in the bag now through January 15th. Save big money at Menards. Northland Basement Systems is the all-things basementy company. Basement waterproofing, basement finishing, basement structural repair, humidity and mold control, and nasty crawl spaces too. When it comes to basement solutions, nobody does it better than we do. Since 1991, homeowners just like you in the Northland have trusted Northland Basement Systems for all things basementy in their homes. Call Northland Basement Systems today to schedule a free home evaluation. Are you or someone you love struggling with an addiction to drugs or alcohol and want to be set free from the chains of addiction? Then call Addiction Helpline America right now to get the help you need. From drug and alcohol addiction to dual diagnosis treatment, we provide a confidential helpline to help people like you get sober and live happy, substance-free lives. With one call, you can be on the phone with addiction specialists across the country who will guide you on the next steps to find the freedom and healing you desperately need. Call Addiction Helpline America at the number below. We provide a confidential helpline to help people like you get sober and live happy, substance-free lives. One phone call today can change your life forever. Don't wait another minute for that right moment to be set free. Take that bold step and call Addiction Helpline America at the number below or visit www.addictionhelplineamerica.com. Bring it in. You and I have a family meeting to talk about right now. We have some snowfall on the way. Not a lot of snow, but it's definitely going to leave a mark tonight and throughout the day tomorrow. We've been through heavier storms, but this one is coming at an inopportune time, as you know, overnight tonight, uh, where the heavy snow is going to fall around sunrise tomorrow morning. So get ready for a messy morning commute tomorrow with a widespread four to six inch snowfall on the way. Advisories are posted in here is a winter weather advisory in blue, a winter storm warning in pink or red. Uh, this is because along the southern shore here, we'll get some lake enhancement of the snow. Included in there, though, is Vilas County, where a few spots could see upwards of 10 or more inches of snow by about this time tomorrow night. Looking outside right now, though, it's all quiet down here on Earth, but above us, the clouds are increasing as we speak, and there's a couple of flurries trying to develop now uh, up in the atmosphere. Uh, they'll likely keep going for several more hours before it all begins to snow on us about 9 o'clock tonight as the bulk of the energy gets in here with this system, arrives over Wisconsin this evening, and then lingers. It's not a fast-moving system. It's a slow-moving one. It's going to linger over us tonight and tomorrow into tomorrow evening. Notice, though, there's Lots of moisture coming in off the Pacific and also tapping the moisture out of the Gulf of Mexico. So this thing is well funded. It's going to have some snowfall with it, some energy with it, and some wind energy too. It'll be developing as it moves over Wisconsin later on tonight. All right, future cast shows. Here we are tonight, about 930 or so. And notice how the darker blues get going. Uh, that's moderate snowfall uh, for these areas. It'll keep going overnight tonight into tomorrow morning. Most of us tomorrow, probably sunrise rises around two to four inches of snow. It's going to keep snowing then into tomorrow afternoon. And then look what happens tomorrow afternoon. These are really intense lake effects, snow bands effect, probably the most intense we've seen so far this season. Uh, if you get under one of
of those. It'll be a complete whiteout for a few minutes before it shifts off to the east or west. But overall, uh, we'll be adding snow to the totals tomorrow with lake effect snow tomorrow afternoon. And then that keeps going tomorrow night as the system pulls away. And then finally, the whole thing gets out of here by early Thursday morning. But blowing in drifting snow is going to be an issue. We have wind gusts upwards of 35 miles per hour tomorrow evening. Now, that's usually not a problem, but this snow is going to be so light and fluffy, you can sneeze on it and it kind of blows away. Uh, the wind's going to pick this stuff up and it's definitely going to blow and drift the snow, uh, creating kind of problems on the roadways through tomorrow evening. All right, so today, lots of clouds, a peak or two of sunshine, mostly cloudy skies. Today, the atmosphere is kind of getting saturated now. And before you know it, the snowfall will be on the way. After we did this today, 20 in Rhinelander, 19 Eagle River, 20 Lando Lake. So a cold day, below average temperatures again for us today. But we are just getting started as we have colder air on the way. Now, temperatures have not moved much because the clouds are increasing. That acts like a blanket in the atmosphere. Uh, these will probably stay where they're at for now. Maybe dip down just a bit tonight as that snow moves in. And the Arctic air is not too far away. It's been kind of lurking over the border. And once in a while, it kind of rears down this way. We'll get a chance to see it again uh, tomorrow, but more so getting in here on Friday. Look at the high temperature Friday of 8 with feel like temperatures down below zero and nightly low temperatures well below zero. Uh, maybe 22 Saturday, then we're right back up or down again on Sunday, Monday into Tuesday. So our snowpack, this is a win-win, right? We're getting snow, then the cold. So if you're watching me from, say, Milwaukee or Madison, Chicago, come on up here because the snow trails are going to be fantastic beginning tomorrow night. Our forecast tonight, though, scattered snow showers developing, low temperatures down near 17 with 2 to 4 by tomorrow morning. For tomorrow, snow continues getting windy. That north wind could gust near 30, blowing and drifting the new snow. And then looking ahead, your 7-day forecast by Northwest Furniture and Metro shows snow tomorrow. Light snow in the early parts of Thursday. Then we just get cold with high temperatures near 8 on Friday. Nate? Thank you, Jeff. While we are bracing for some snowfall, people out east and in the south are currently experiencing some major headaches. A massive winter storm covered the region and brought flights and roadways to a halt. And with millions of Americans trying to get home from the holidays, it's caused some major delays. Tom Costello has the latest. This morning, a dangerous situation on the highways outside of Washington. Drivers trapped overnight. The region pounded by nearly a foot of snow, causing standstill traffic, stranded vehicles, and collisions. And a massive backup on I-95 in Virginia after a crash involving six tractor trailers. NBC correspondent Josh Letterman trapped about 30 miles south of Washington since 8 p.m. last night. But as it got past five hours, it was like, okay, this is a little scary. I don't have any food or water. A lot of people around midnight started turning their cars off, trying to conserve gas because we didn't know, is this going to clear up any minute or are we going to be here all night long? The Virginia Department of Transportation calling the situation unprecedented and saying it is working to clear trucks and melt ice and snow around drivers to guide them to off ramps. It's warning other drivers to avoid the area. A concerning development in a storm that's frustrated travelers across the Northeast. Thousands of homes and businesses left without power. We live in Maryland, so... One day, 70 degrees. Next day, 30 degrees is snowing. The White House conditions even impacting President Biden's return to the White House after his holiday break. Crews rushed to clear the runway at Joint Base Andrews for Air Force One. Monday's travel headaches capped an already chaotic holiday season. Since Christmas Eve, more than 18,000 flights, 18,000, have been canceled. At Washington Reagan Airport on Monday, 87% of departing flights canceled, the most of any airport in the country. The aftermath, hundreds of bags piled up, waiting to be claimed and reconnected with their owners. Chicago O'Hare trying to recover after days of long lines and cancellations, leaving passengers frustrated. Because I was supposed to be home yesterday. It made me aggravated. When I was growing up, it seemed like every adult had two cell phones, either a Razor flip phone or a Blackberry. But then the iPhone came along, now those are obsolete. But if you still had a Blackberry in today's society, you're officially out of luck. We'll explain after the break. You know what I'm gonna miss most about space? What's that? How easy it is to keep up my saving habit. There's nothing to buy up here. We're making it easier to save on Earth too. 
When you open a savings builder account at BMO Harris, you can get a cash reward for every month you save. Anything to help launch my savings? Sure. When you open a checking account, we'll give you $200 to kickstart your savings progress. $200 and a monthly savings reward. It's a way to save that won't weigh you down. <laughs> it's a little space humor. When a bank helps you make real financial progress, that's the BMO effect. Are you putting off your window replacement project because of the weather? Did you know that Renewal by Anderson will replace your windows any time of the year and in any weather? Our beautiful replacement windows are made with exclusive Fibrix material, which is vastly superior to vinyl, never needs painting, and resists warping and bowing. They're custom built in the USA and installed with precision and care by our certified master installers. Plus, both our product and our installation are backed by the nation's best warranty. I don't have to worry what the weather is outside because I know my windows are custom for this climate. Any season is the right season to improve and transform the look of your home and add value. Call Renewal by Anderson for your free, no obligation design consultation. Don't miss this money-saving deal with great financing. Installation is always included. Call now. The Culligan Connect app from Culligan Water works with our smart, high-efficiency water softener to monitor water usage, potential leaks, and salt so you never run out. Get more control of your home's water. Contact Culligan Water, the local water experts. AlleveX. It's fast, powerful, long-lasting relief with a revolutionary rollerball design. Because with the right pain reliever, life opens up. <laughs> Alleve it and see what's possible. Once upon a time, BlackBerry cell phones were everywhere. But now the company says its classic models will stop working today. NBC's Carrie Sanders has more. Before Apple, there was BlackBerry. From presidents and politicians to celebrities and CEOs, the phones with the signature keyboard quickly became a status symbol at the office and beyond. But now, decades later, those phones are shutting down. BlackBerry discontinuing service for its classic models starting today, saying they will no longer reliably function. All good things come to an end. At its peak in 2012, the company reported having 80 million active users. The BlackBerry used to be one of the most popular phones in the world. It was easy to understand and use. It also had those keyboards that were really clicky and tactile. People everywhere were glued to their keyboards, which made answering emails for work. All essential personnel will be issued Blackberries for company Ooh, use. Gimme, 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 gimme. Or messaging friends through the phone's popular BBM platform, easy and addicting. Blackberries became crackberries for many. But eventually that once revolutionary keyboard became obsolete. They all have these keyboards that are there whether you need them or not to be there. What we're going to do is get rid of all these buttons and just make a giant screen. With the rise of the touch screen, <laughs> Apple's iPhone and other devices took over. And while BlackBerry tried to adapt with its own giant screen and new operating systems, the company came up short. The new BlackBerry Z10, built to keep you moving. And even some of its most famous longtime users had to move on. We are now a, a security software company. 60% of our revenue comes from cybersecurity. The company now focused on providing security services to governments and businesses around the world. Built to stand the test of time. As it officially pulls the plug on its old phones and finally says goodbye to a classic. Did you know you can start your four-year degree locally and get the same college experience closer to home? From the moment you step onto our campus, we'll be there for you, supporting your dreams, saving you money, and giving you a well-rounded academic and social experience with student housing, clubs, sports, and leadership opportunities. With NTC's Liberal Arts Transfer Degree, you can start here and go anywhere, including guaranteed transfer to UW-Madison, North Central Technical College, transferability made easy. 
Maybe you're thinking about updating your shower one day, but you have a whole ton of questions and you don't know who to ask. Well, today your questions are going to be answered by a certified jacuzzi installer, Corey Gottlieb. And Corey's my son, by the way. Corey, thanks for joining us. Dad, thanks for having me. Corey Linda wrote in and she wants to know what's your favorite part of being a bath installer? That's a great question, Linda. I love my job. At the end of the day, seeing the look on their faces, it really means a lot to me. I love what I do and it's very special. So Sue wants to know, she's got a bathtub and she doesn't take baths anymore. She would love to put in a low step and shower and you can do that, can't you? We do it all the time. We take out an old tub, we put in a nice new easy step and shower. Uh, very, very simple. Yeah, very safe for people too. So, and you can add well-placed grab bars for people. You put them at the height they want. Wherever they need them. So you can work with them and put their grab bars, their grab shelves, whatever they need to give them a much safer shower. And that's very important. Emmett wants to know about warranties. He says, warranties are really important to me. You offer a lifetime warranty. How can you be so confident about a lifetime warranty? Unlike other companies, we take everything out right to the bottom, right down to the studs and get a completely new fresh start. So you tear out the existing uh, tile, pan, everything. Tile, wallboard, uh, whatever we need to replace, it's fresh start. Even the plumbing. We always have a licensed plumber on staff take out the old plumbing. So everything's new behind the walls so people don't have to worry about a thing. All new and lifetime warrantied. That's great. Corey, Cindy wants to know what to expect when a uh, bath installer shows up at their home. What happens? Well, first off, we arrive on time. Uh, we'll go over, review the project together and we'll, we'll lay our runners and our tarps down and, and treat your home as if it were our own. So you protect everything, right? You, I mean, you cover everything in the Floors, bathroom. vanities, toilet, uh, bathroom floor, everything. Thanks for joining us, Corey. Jacuzzi has some really exciting offers. Take a look. Let's make your tired old bathroom look beautiful again. Save now with 75% off installation plus a free upgrade to stylish black fixtures. Call 1-800-TUNDERLAND or visit tunderland.com today. This portion of News Watch 12 is brought to you by Slumberland. All right, Nate, the clouds are increasing out there now. The snow showers are not too far away, probably starting 9, 10 o'clock tonight. Lingering through tomorrow is going to give us a widespread 4 to 6 inch snowfall, but a couple of you could do an inch or two more than that, especially along and north of Highway 8. But then looking ahead, the 7 includes uh, snow and wind tomorrow, a couple of flurries Thursday, but then look how cold it gets. Friday, a high of 8, low temperatures down near 10 below. Uh, we get a bit warmer Saturday, then right back down. So overall, below average temperatures, snowfall on the way, trails are in great shape. Let's do it. Yeah, Wisconsin yeah. winters are officially here. Love it. Thanks, Jeff. Thanks for watching. We'll see you back here at 6.